Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's video I would like to show you how to get your string arrangements from something like this to something like this. So after my last tutorial on how to program epic percussion, today we are talking about strings. And if you like content like this and have subscribed to my channel yet, now is the very right moment to hit that button. Um, it happened recently that um, I got tracks handed out like, can you arrange something for us or can you bounce something for us or can you, it doesn't matter what exactly. And you know, it, it's, it's, the strings are used for pop songs, rock songs, film music, and whatever. And it happened quite often then when I received those MIDI files that the strings were played in something like this, which even me, I'm guilty of, you know, I'm a keyboard player, I'm a piano player, so this is how we play in the strings. And this was already a good example for a passing note so at least try to have some passing notes but not only the block chords and to get a feel for it it's not that difficult because you can take for example the free library from Spitfire Audio the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover where you can see how an orchestra is organized and how it works and then you have the fact that strings are divided into sections. So we maybe work with, like in my case today from Project Sam, the orchestral essentials, strings long, which is an ensemble patch, which goes from the bass to the violin. But normally strings, you should think about it like a section. So we have the basses and, and the cool thing about those libraries is you can see already from the keyboard, the range. So the bass can't play here. Huh? The same thing goes for the celli. The celli start here and end normally somewhere here. Then you do have the violas. They go in upper range. You know, violas are those slightly bigger violins. And then you have the first and the second violins. Or you take a library like Jaeger, for example, even Jaeger, wonderful library, um, has those string sections. And then if you play in your chords, track by track, it comes naturally that you don't play block chords, but you divide it. And I just suggest the chord progression from before, we will now recreate it, starting with the bass note. One nice little error that you saw here, um, I didn't check the, you know, the famous wiggling around before you play that expression and modulation are or at zero or at 127. When you start writing, we will talk about expression and modulation a little later. Then we play in the cello line. By the way, one really nice detail, Jaeger has legato sections. So nice, really so nice. Then we play in the viola. I'm not even going in the faders as I always say use your faders we will do this we will do this this is just for showing you how much more interesting the whole string thing becomes if you play 
the lines separated the violins. So you see, that's all that there is. I'm just playing the chords now, divided section by section, using passing notes. So for example, if I go from, um, let's take here, from something like this, the A and the D in D minor, to up to the F. I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Just to have these lines in, and I think it already sounds quite good. Even if it's still quite robotic, robotic because there is no modulation or expression in it. But the good news is, if you don't have a string library with those sections divided, that's not a problem because by now we know that we divide the keyboard into sections and we can do the very same thing with an ensemble patch. In this case, the long strings from Project Sam. Let's do this. The bass. After the bass, we play in the celli, which are more or less here. Then we go to our violas. Last, we play in the violins. Just a second, I'm seeing now that some notes are missing. This means we played them before the one. This is why we then don't hear them. Okay, we fixed this. And now we play in the violins, which are up here. There you go, the whole thing now played as nice sections. Now we play a little bit with expression or in this case modulation just to see how alive they become if they're coming in waves. You see, that's all that there is. I mean, this is just my little beginner's tutorial on how you should treat your strings to get your music a little more interesting, maybe a little more human, if you will. Um, again, this is the normal block chords. And that's the very same chord progression played in, you know, with some passing notes. I hope you liked it, I hope it was useful for you and if you like to learn more about strings there is even a video of mine, there should be the link somewhere how to program string ostinati because you know even ostinati are used quite often by the string section and yeah that's it from my side for today see you in the next video or in the next live stream have a wonderful time, bye bye Oh you still here? Looking for a new library? Check this one out You wanna learn something new? This one might be the right one for you. Here you can subscribe to my channel and consider even visiting my Patreon page for even more exclusive content.